Oh, it is time to dish, and the Win Dixie Kitchen smells wonderful because it is one of my favorite all time dishes shrimp and grits, but in a way that you have never ever had them before. So, we are talking right now to Bill Sissel. You may know him from Billy's Boathouse, one of the many beach restaurants. That uh, he's good to see you. He's a proprietor of. Great to see you. Now, tell us about this company and this product you have, Gracious Grits, and why. They are revolutionizing home grit eating. Well, grits are a great thing to have around, and they take a long time to cook to make them really delicious. And today's mom and dads just don't have that time. Mm -hmm. So we developed this product uh, with the help of Dairy Fair Foods and my company, Gracious Foods, to create an easy way to enjoy great grits. And they're, they're already made. They're fully prepared. You find them in the um, dairy section of your Winn-Dixie stores. They're uh, refrigerated, never frozen. The um, Are these the grits like your mama used to make? Or are they these are. This is an old family recipe that I was born and raised on and spoiled by. And when you enjoy grits, you go try to find good grits all the time, and you can't really do it. So that's, this is why we did this. <laughs> all right, so let's talk a little bit, Bill, about what you and I discussed off the air, and that is I was raised on Just Add Water Grits. And so the first time I was at a restaurant and had shrimp and grits, I was blown away. I had no idea what real grits are, and I think that's the case for a lot of folks. It, Not it, maybe in the South as much as other parts, but still. Well, it really is. And the, um, it just takes a, people that know how to make good grits know it takes a long, long time. So gracious grits are done in about five minutes in your microwave. And so this dinner we're making today is shrimp and grits. This recipe, which you can find online at graciousgrits.com. Um, only takes 30 minutes from start to finish. Whereas it would take hours if you were doing it with the, with the homemade grits. So right. right now we've been watching and you've added the shrimp. You put them in a very hot pan. The uh, green onions, the mushrooms. What else? Lemon I saw go in there. With the lemon. We've got season a little salt and pepper and a little bit of Old Bay. And garlic. That's always good with shrimp. Uh -huh. Yeah, we started out with the baking drippings of um, four pieces of bacon and a little bit of butter. Uh-huh. And... Um, the um, tomatoes and mushrooms are cooking down. They're creating a little sauce for us. And this has only been going for uh, maybe 30 seconds before we actually went on the air. So you've seen the whole process. The only thing you didn't see was putting this in the microwave, but through the magic of TV, we actually have the grits for you. And by the way, Rance is distracting me with the salivating that's happening over here. Bacon. I know you did, so you and can shrimp. come in. I know and it's, grits. I know it's driving me nuts. We have the gracious grits. They've been, like I said, prepared in the microwave. We stirred them with a fork. They're so creamy. They're nice and creamy. That's the point. Yep. We're just going to pour them right on our platter here. Oh. That's for everyone, and, Rance. That's not your plate. Oh, uh, word. That's There's a no, serving uh, plate. I got to share. <laughs> and you don't have to clean a pot. They're They're... Yeah, that's right. There's no, there's no, no grit pot. That's another bonus. No, no grit pot. That is another bonus. Oh, that looks so Now our so shrimp delicious. are done. Everything's cooked down nicely. And, and once again, they are available at Win dixie And the website for the recipe, graciousgrits.com. And of course, you can always find recipes at News for Jack's. The Win dixie recipe tab. Oh, we're in uh, Win dixie the Bylows, and the Harveys. We'll, we'll be at the uh, Harveys in Edgewood Avenue on Saturday doing a tasting of the grits. So if you're in that neighborhood. Wow. Stop by and check us out. Okay, that looks great, man. I just passed. And we're going to garnish with a little Parmesan. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, because I like uh -huh. to put a little little Parmesan on everything. And now for the test. Okay. Oh. So are you serving it up? I'm going to serve it up. All right. I'm going to pass that back are to you, Rance. Oh, we better get a little more for Rance. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I, I need yeah. some uh, beefiness. I also need a little <laughs> bit more, even though I haven't tried it yet. I know already I do. <laughs> <laughs> this tomatoes, looks delicious. Yeah, try it. Tomatoes with grits is amazing. So I think if you go to the website, you'll see the recipes. We have lots of this recipe and some other ones. Mm. And um, don't. This, this, this is delicious. Off the top of your head, a couple of other recipes using grits. Oh, wow. We do one with a uh, tomato gravy. Um, you can mm -hmm. substitute these grits for any time you would use potatoes. So, right, mm -hmm. it's a great starch. Grits are made just from corn. So it's, um, they're help. They're Nutritious and delicious. They're super versatile. They're not just for breakfast anymore. They're breakfast, lunch, and this is dinner, of course. Oh, my gosh. Um, this is incredible, Bill. Best of luck to you. Thank you. And the grits. <laughs> Nobody's getting any of this. I'm sorry. Oh, no. This you is, guys inside are done. This is great, great, great. I would highly rec recommend getting this recipe and starting it off with those grits. Thank you so much for being with us on River City Live, and we will be back. Don't well, go away.